Hey everyone, um, I will do like here to introduce uh, Julia Scoville. Uh, Julia, tell uh, our more about yourself, who you are, what are you doing, and, and uh, who is your niche, who are you going to help? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you, Veronica, first of all, for you know, giving me this opportunity to speak and introduce myself. Um, so I'm Julia Scoville. I currently live in UK, just outside of London. Originally, I'm from Belarus, from Minsk, but I've been living in UK over 20 years now. So I've got family. I've got two young children. I've got two boys, age seven and three. Um, I've got husband. So uh, who am I in a daily life? I'm a mom, um, biz businesswoman, and uh, you know, busy, busy um, wife um, in my daily routine. And um, who I am helping, and um, you know, the, kind of the background of myself. Um, I had corporate career in coaching and development, um, and then. I worked for big corporate banks for a number of years. I became an NLP practitioner, and. Um, you know, kind of had my children through my career, which pushed me to go and set my own business. And because of having children, you put your children first as a priority and you don't put yourself as a priority anymore. And um, what happened to me, um, I didn't really put, um, you know, lots of emphasis on exercises, on right eating, and I put lots of weight. And to be fair, obviously through pregnancy, you gain lots of weight. So, you know, it was already there, extra, um, extra kilos that I couldn't lose. And um, it's really made me unhappy. After having second child, I've just realized that it's um yeah it's it's not who i used to be and um, i need to change and one of the moments kind of profound moments in my life was when we went on family holidays to euro camp in france and um i was sitting on a decking sunbathing in my swimming costume and by the side of me there was like a double doors i can see reflection of myself and I looked and I was like, oh my God, who is that woman? You know, like, this is not me. Instead of swimming in the sea, I was swimming in fat. And it just really made me oh, feel. You saw your reflection on the water or where? Yeah, on a, on a window, you know, on a, on a door, oh, sliding wow. door, big, big sliding door. Um, I've seen a reflection of myself. And um, it just really made me feel low and unhappy and made me feel depressed and I'm thinking, you know, like I, I didn't feel good about myself, you know, it was really made me feel very, very low to, to, be, for, to, be, to be honest, almost suicidal because I thought I'm not worth it, you know, I'm not beautiful enough, what I'm doing here. And then to top that up, right opposite us, there was another caravan and our neighbor was um, a girl who was similar age to me, also with two boys, two children. And she was so beautiful and skinny and slim and she wore her bikini and she had sunglasses and a cup of coffee and she was sitting there on a decking drinking. And it just couldn't be better slap on my face to say, come on, Julia, wake up, you know, like this is just black and white. And, um, you know, wake have, up, caller. Wake up, absolutely. And having that girl there, each morning, because that's what the routine, you know, she was coming there each morning, having cup, her coffee, being in bikini. Um, I became paranoid. I'm thinking what my husband sees each morning, you know, the comparison, <laughs> me and her. And, you know, you, you start kind of worry about your position and your relationship as well. So I thought, no, you know what? I need to do something about it. I, I need to change. And... Um, I started researching and I came across my friend um, in property who at age 50 lost 50 kilos. Wow, that's yeah, a lot. He achieved amazing results and he completely changed the way he looked. And I always thought, well, I'm 41 now. At that time I was 40. I'm getting on, losing weight. It's harder. You know, I was coming up with all those excuses. But when I've seen him at age 40, losing kilos sorry at age 50 losing 50 kilos I thought, I thought no excuse you know if he can do it and he had like abs and everything at age you know 50 and he looked gorgeous I thought well there is no excuse anymore now mm -hmm. I have to do it um so I've inquired you know um from him what he's done and, and so on and um I've um put myself on a fitness program and 
that program changed everything for me and changed my life because what I've learned from that program that we all know about dieting and we know how to look good. It's eat less, exercise more. It's really simple formula, mm -hmm. but somehow not everyone can follow it. And lots of people falling on it, you know, and like, why, why is that? And I came to realize it was all about the mindset. That's one differentiator. Um, it's not the diet plan, you know, what meals you're eating, milkshakes or what type of food or whatever exercises. Yeah, you know. but I have a question. What was, what was holding you back to make the changes or just to wake up yeah, from, I think, from, from you know, that routine? Yeah, I think it's not like putting myself first and... You know, having children, you put your children first all the time, especially when they're young, you know, the babies, you want to breastfeed them and, you know, you, you, you don't even have time for shower. And I yes. think that kind of routine, you know, just gets you out of it. And um, you, you're cooking dinner, you're serving your children, your, 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 your husband. And then if you've got business on top of it, you do give everything to your business and nothing for yourself. And you don't realize that, you know. And you're running on low oxygen. So what I've learned is to put oxygen mask, you know, as the analogy of chloroplane, on yourself first before you can help anyone in your household. And um, I went through this exercise, you know, kind of why, why, why I'm doing this. And that's what became apparent to me. I want to gain my health, my fitness, my, you know, my body shape, because it will make me feel happy. And if I'm happy, I'm better wife. I'm better mom, I'm better friend, I'm, you know, it's just going to shine throughout me yes. across everyone. So I had to do it for myself to have better impact on everyone else. And so that was the massive realization. And um, yeah, so the, the, the biggest point for me was it's the mindset and um, realize and understand that I need to change my mindset about the, the, the whole idea of fitness and dieting. And it's not just about 12 weeks plan or eight weeks plan and you achieve your beautiful figure, you go on holidays and then you come back and it comes back all to you. And then you struggle again, you know? Um, it's about the lifestyle. It's about day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day -day choices that you make that will help you and make that impact and sustain you for the rest of your life. You know, if you want to be in that body shape for the rest of your life, you have to change your life. You know, you have to change your daily activities. But, I have, sorry, I have another question. So what uh, did you learn from, from this experience when you, you got the wake up call? Um, yeah, I suppose, you know, that I wasn't putting mask on myself. And I was putting myself right at the bottom of the pack. And, you know, um, other, other things were taking over. And, and then because of that, my life became chaos. And I didn't feel I'm in charge of things. And, you know, I, I didn't have clarity. And because on top of that, you already feel bad about yourself deep inside. You know, generally, I'm a really happy person. If you met me outside, you would never, ever spot that. I was at my lowest point or, you know, I was so depressed and, and, but, you know, when I be honest with myself, when I go really, really deep inside, I knew that I wasn't happy. I knew that, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't who I want to be. So, and having that realization that I need to put myself first and learn how to do it um, and how that's going to impact my family life and, you know, because I need to change to do that. You know, that was really powerful. And um, one of the things I had to do, um, or I do that now on a daily basis, it's 10,000 steps a day. And to achieve 10,000 steps a day, if you already have got a busy schedule, can be hard. So I used to, um, in the summertime, I used to wake up really early, um, like, I don't know, six o'clock. And then I used to go to the forest for walks before my family wakes up. And I remember doing it first, first time ever, I'm setting up my alarm for 5.30 and I'm thinking, oh my God, I have to wake up at 5.30, I can't do this. And, you know, all the negative, but okay, I'll stick with it. So 5.30 next morning, the alarm goes off. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, get myself ready, go for the forest. I put my headphones on, switch my podcast, you know, all my favorite guys that I'm listening to. And I thought, oh my God, this is like a, you know, that oxygen mask and yes. the air comes in and I feel so good. And I, you know, it's just like, why I haven't done this before? 
Next morning, do you know what happened? I was looking forward to set up that bloody alarm. You know, I was like, <laughs> I was going to bed. I couldn't wait to wake up first thing in the morning and go for that forest walk. And I was so shocked that that happened to me. And people will say, oh, how can you go for a walk first thing? And I was like, you know what? If I don't do that, I, like, it's not me anymore. You know, I have to do it because it's my oxygen mask, you know, mm -hmm. first thing in the morning before my family wakes up, before I get myself into routine, that oxygen mask goes on me, not anyone else. So, um, yeah, that's just one example, you know. Um, of but things what, that is, uh, what is uh, a giveaway or a lesson that you could give to, to another woman who are in the same situation like you, like that they are moms at home and they have to, to care for everything, you know, for their husband, for the children, for their business. What's your giveaway for, for the women's? Yeah, absolutely. So my, my gift is my um, coaching program that I've designed. It's called Julia Fitness Program. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a Facebook page. You can you know join me on a Facebook yeah. page where I'm sharing, you know, like meals, my struggles as well, because I'm, I'm you know, I'm still going through this and, you know, I'm human being like anyone else. Um, and also all my clients come on board and share their experiences. So it's kind of community of women who are going through the same program and, you know, sharing their wins, but also the obstacles and, you know, struggles. So everyone feels supported. And so my, my kind of, my program is designed to support women who want to achieve that change, achieve their um, body shape and stay there for life. And, you know, it's definitely not 12 weeks plan or six weeks plan, you know, dieting or anything like that. Obviously, you will have, you know, allocated meals that you have to follow, but it's more about helping you to create a lifestyle, you know, helping you to get out of that rat race of your daily routine and incorporate new structure that will happen automatically for you. And um, you don't even have to think about it anymore. You know, it just comes like anything else like you wake up in the morning you make breakfast you have your coffee you drop you off your kids to school whatever you do your fitness comes into it your steps come into it your meal plans come you know everything just like a clockwork machine you know it just happens you don't have to yeah. think about it anymore yeah but uh, how do you experience your new lifestyle how do you feel and what do you feel <laughs> as a woman well i feel um uh, well, first of all, like myself, um, I've lost 17 kilos. Wow. Um, it took me about probably about five months to do that. And that's amazing achievement in itself. So I'm back into my uh, body weight that I used to be on my wedding day pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, and but I'm still going because um, what I've realized actually I still got a little bit more way to go. So I'm, I'm aiming um, another 10 kilos to lose. So I'm still on the journey. But it's made me feel already much better about myself because first of all, my body image has changed. So I look younger, I, you know, I, I, I brought all my wardrobe back as well. Uh, some of it, you know, went in the bin because I feel like I don't want to wear that anymore and I have to buy new clothes. And, um, you know, things like um, kind of knowing that I'm doing healthy choices every day and that's important to me because I put value now on that. Um, it it's really makes me feel good because i'm projecting my life further so when i become age 50 i know i'm going to look good when i become age 60 i know i'm going to look good when i become age 70 i know i will be independent yes. because i am active i you know uh, being active there are so many benefits you know not just for your body but for your mind as well mm -hmm. so i'm setting myself up for you know for the future for many many years ahead it's not just for you know this year yeah. next year it's you know for much much better investment. So it's how so you you are very good so, so at goal setting. So how to, to set goals and how to achieve them. This is so important. That I think uh, that we all can uh, learn a lot from you, especially as a woman because I'm too a woman. I'm a mom. But I have another question to you. Um, uh, does your weight affected your relationship or not? Mm, good question. It certainly has. And I'll be honest with you. Um, 
when I was overweight, I wasn't confident in my body. So sexual relationship with my husband wasn't something that I was looking forward to. And, you know, I didn't feel confident enough to initiate it or have it because, you know, you just like, you just, yeah, all the underwear and everything, you know, you just don't feel sexy. Let's play. But now having new body image and having that confidence or oh, definitely had an impact. Definitely. So, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it has improved and it's brought another strict now to our relationship because it's something that we start doing again and, you know, we focusing more, you know, we, we kind of joke about it coming up with games or look forward to it. So it's a uh, yeah, much better experience on relationship as well with your, with my husband uh, yeah. than it was before. No, because I know that um, the psychological the psychology of the men's it's very different from the psychology of the women's and they are used so to to look or to see with their eyes and we women with emotions that's the difference between a woman and a man <laughs> and yeah so i mean if they see a beautiful woman wow it's like they feel attracted yeah and you know you when especially okay uh even if there is love but uh, this is the psychological uh, state of of a man you know when um uh, uh, his woman um yeah is it's like don't doesn't uh, care about herself and uh, there is um how can I, I, I say that? Um, so we're saying that if you don't care about yourself, if you don't love yourself, no one can love you. And I think that's true in this case, this affirmation, because this is a, an affirmation. And I think that a lot of women could uh, learn a lot from you and probably how to save uh, as well their relationships especially if you are married and if you have children. Absolutely, absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I'm happy to connect with, you know, women who struggle, want to ask me questions or not sure about something because, you know, I, like I went through the same struggles and um, it's, and I, and I meet so many moms who do, you know, experience the same struggles in their lives and it's affecting them and, and their families. So, Absolutely. If, you know, if I can be helped to anyone and, you know, guide them or give them some ideas, I definitely will be more than happy to do because I know how much it can change their lives. Yes, uh, Julia, I'm so happy to having you here. I want to, to thank you from the depth of my heart for your time and that you have shared your experience and your life story with us. Um, if you want to uh, to, to follow Julia. So I will uh, put the link below. And so for her programs, you can book her on her website. And don't forget to subscribe and to like our channels. Thank you so much. And so I see you soon, Julia. Thank uh, you. Very to, to, yes, to our uh, next meeting. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.